Welcome to my channel. This is Sammy Says Create and this is a channel where I do all sorts of DIY and creative projects and I bring you along for the ride. So welcome to my mini series. This is five minute fat quarters and this is a series where I show you some fun and fabulous fat quarter makes in five minutes or under. No frills, no fluff, just fat quarter. So without further ado, let's go on with today's Fat Quarter Make. So in order to make this super easy fat quarter pillowcase, you will need two fat quarters. It's up to you whether you want them to match or you want them to be different and have a different pattern on either side. You will also need a zip. This is roughly 16 inches, I think, but I just picked up what I had. Ideally, you need one that's just a little bit smaller than the length of the fat quarter. You'll also need clips or pins, some matching thread and your sewing machine. Our first step is to attach the zip to the bottom of the fat quarters. So just to make sure this is really neat, I folded up a hem on both fat quarters at the bottom that was roughly about half an inch and we're then going to attach that zip to that hem. I then attached one side of the zip to one side of the hem. So just make sure that your zip is obviously gonna be facing outside of your pillow. So the right side of the zip needs to kind of be facing downward so that when it's sewed all together, you can unzip it and it will be the right side. Then switch over to a zipper foot if you have one. Don't worry too much if you don't. You can do this with a normal sewing machine foot. You just won't be able to get in really, really close to the zip so it might not be quite as neat, but you can still do it. Then using a straight stitch, just stitch across that whole bottom hem and secure it all into place. If you find it easier, just unzip the zip so it is separated. Sometimes it can be a little bit easier to sew that way. And with the zip separated, now attach the other half of the zip to the other fat quarter, obviously along the bottom of the hem. And we're just going to repeat the process. So we're just going to pin it in place and we're going to sew a straight stitch across there as well. So don't forget that you will need to change the side of your zipper foot. So there is a specific side for the zipper foot, depending on what side of the zip you're sewing. So just make sure you pay attention to that. I'll find a good video tutorial on here and I'll pop a link in the description box for you. So now we've sewed it, we have a working zip. And our next step is to flip the material the wrong way around so that the wrong way is facing you. And we are going to sew all the way around the outside of these two fat quarters just to attach them together. So make sure you keep your zip half open when you do this and that way you'll be able to flip your pillow the right way around without struggling to get your zip undone from the wrong way. I learned this the hard way. Um, also as well, don't forget whenever you start any sewing off, you do a couple front stitches, then back stitches and then front stitches just to make sure everything's nice and secure and none of the stitching is going to come out. So to manoeuvre around the corners, make sure you leave your needle in the material, lift up your sewing machine foot, spin your material, pop your foot back down and then just carry on stitching and that way you can go around the corners without having to pull your material off the machine and starting over again. Now we are all tightly sewn up, just turn your pillowcase the right way around and just push out all those little corners as well. And the fun bit where you can release all that stress and anger is stuff. So stuff that pillow into your pillowcase. And we are done. Super simple, super quick and super easy. Thank you. 
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and you're enjoying this mini series. Please drop me comments down below and let me know what you think. If you have enjoyed it, please do show me some love and hit that like button down below, the subscribe button and the notification button and that way you will not miss out on any of my future videos. And feel free to follow me on Instagram to see all my other crafty makes. So I will see you in the next five minute fat quarter video. Until then, keep creative. Bye.